Hi, this is Pastor Ryan Chang. Welcome back to my video channel. First of all, Happy New Year! We are now officially in the year of our Lord 2023. Today, I have a special guest. Her name is Siri Chang, our family dog who is a bastard hound. Siri and her breed are called that because they hound like this. Now, Today, being the first day of the year, I want to share a brief message that ought to anchor our 2023 and that message has a lot to do with Sadie and why we got her in the first place. What's unique about Sadie is that she was born in Chihuahua City in the state of Chihuahua, which is the largest state in Mexico, in March of 2011. So she is a Mexicana. And she has been with us ever since April of 2011, shortly before we left Mexico, where my family and I had lived for over a decade. In fact, Siri, as a baby, literally came with me as she was in the moving van that I drove with a friend all the way from Mexico to Pennsylvania in June of 2011. Siri will be 12 in three months. Chihuahua? Yes, that's the state from where the Chihuahua breed comes from, but our dog is decidedly not a Chihuahua. I've seen my share of Chihuahuas and I must say that they probably wouldn't make good service dogs because they are feisty at best and downright angry at worst. Sadie has issues like being lazy and stubborn, but she isn't that feisty or angry. Like many of you who have dogs, our Thady has been an integral part of our family. For instance, she's always at the center of our birthday celebration, the most recent one being my 62nd birthday. And she sort of took over. But it's not like we don't celebrate her birthday every March 1. This was Thady's sixth birthday with a special present and even a birthday cap. And she personally visited all the colleges our children have attended, except the one in Houston and Irvine, California. She has made it to Charlottesville, Virginia, Swarthmore, Pennsylvania, New Haven, Connecticut, and also Boston, Massachusetts. She got around. And Sadie loves her family. I think everyone in the family can attest to the fact that we always look forward to Sadie's greeting when we return home from a long absence. When Justin, my youngest, returned home from Texas for his Christmas break in December 2016, Sadie got up to greet Justin even though it was after midnight. She did the same when my older son Joshua returned home from California for Christmas break in December 2020, again long after midnight. Sadie got up and greeted Joshua, whom she hadn't seen for over a year. And I would say, Thady has been well loved by all of us. Every morning, after entering home from her bathroom break and before eating her breakfast, her face, long ears, torso, paws, and butt luck are wiped clean with baby wipe. Well, let me ask, Thady, look here, do you think you are loved? <coughs> yes! <laughs> she would say. Now if you were to ask her what one incident was when she literally felt a lot of love, she might point to this. In the summer of 2021, my family went to the nearby Ridley Creek Park to hike a five mile long trail. Sadie, then 10 years old, who in her younger days used to run with me three to four miles, had a hard time keeping up with us around the third mile. So what did I do? I physically carried her all of her nearly 60 pound frame for a few minutes. As you can see, Thady was very happy, but I was dying. Well, we did the same hike a few days ago, and this time I brought with me an old baby carriage. So when Thady was again slowing down, I put her in the carriage to give her a breather before she walked again. Yes, everyone who saw Thady in the carriage sort of giggled, which is what I did too when I saw someone doing the same thing many months ago. 
Yes, it is sort of embarrassing, but either that or we cannot bring her to a long hike. Seeing it that way, it is an easy choice to make. So it saddens us to think that Sadie, 12 year old in three months, won't be with us for too long since the lifespan of Basset Hound is 10 to 12 years. Yes, we pray that she will live longer because she has truly been a blessing to our family and the Chang family has been a blessing to our Thady. But that's not the end of story. Here now is the rest of the story. The truth of the matter is that Thady was never supposed to come with us to America from Mexico. In fact, Thady wasn't the first dog we had in Mexico. The first dog was Hemi, the lab whom we purchased in 2001. And being sort of ferocious but loving to us, Hemi lived outside as our guard dog. And she did a great job because we were never robbed while living in Mexico. Actually, there was another dog between Hemi and Sadie, and her name was Miju, the Cocker Spaniel. And with apologies to Hemi, Miju was in and out of the house and was present at our every birthday celebration long before Sadie ever got to do it. Miju was truly beloved by her family and it was her that we were going to bring to the United States. As for Hemi, knowing that we couldn't bring her, a Mexican family there adopted her. So why do we bring Sadie, not Miju, with us to the U.S.? Well, this is where I would like to connect a scripture, 2 Timothy chapter 4, verse 9-10, through 10, with what Miju did. As the Apostle Paul was facing his last day while locked up in a Roman dungeon, he felt quite lonely. So, writing to his spiritual son Timothy, who was passing a church in a city far away from Rome, Paul said to him, quote, Do your best to come to me quickly, for Demas, because he loved this world, has deserted me and has gone to Thessalonica. End of a quote. So if I just say, Paul felt very abandoned. Well, I beg your pardon in allowing me to reword 1 Thessalonians 5.10 like this. For Miju, because she loved the world, has deserted the Cheng family and has gone to the outside world. We really don't know what happened. When we came back home after an outing, Miju was simply gone. Someone climbing a lock fence gate to steal Miju was highly unlikely for one thing, our ferocious Hemi would have chased him or her away. More than likely, Miju went out through a narrow gap between bars of the fence gate. Our reaction? We were all so devastated and we looked for Miju for days until we had to accept the fact that she was gone for good. It was really sad. And since Justin's 14th birthday was coming around, my wife and I decided to get him a dog, and that's where Sadie enters the picture. So it was Sadie who came with us to America instead of Miju. And as we began to live in East Coast, where there are so many luscious green trails to walk our dog, Sadie, and as we noticed how much love Sadie was getting from us, more than once my wife and I have said to each other, Miju! This is the life that you could have had, but you deserted us, thinking that there is something better outside the fence. Someone else is living your life. This video, unlike previous videos, has been lighthearted. But I decided to do this video to make this point as we just entered the new year 2023. Don't be like Miju, who is likened to Demas who left the faith community because he loved this world. Meaning, Demas believed that the world was offering something better than what Christ offers or what is found in the Father's house. Sure, the pleasures of this world can be fun and exciting, but you can be sure that in time it will be predictable, boring, and certainly not fun. It's an illusion to think otherwise. The man who arguably had the most fun in the world, King Solomon with 700 wives and 300 concubines, had this to say in Ecclesiastes chapter 2, verse 10a through 11, quote, 
I deny myself nothing my eyes desire. I refuse my heart no pleasure. Yet when I survey all that my hand had done and what I toiled to achieve, everything was meaningless, a chasing after the wind. Nothing was gained under the sun. End of a quote. Don't be like King Solomon. Instead, be like Thady. Stay put in the Father's house and be loved by the Father. As 1 Peter 5, 7 says, quote, Cast all your anxiety on Him, the Father, because He cares for you. End of a quote. So then, what is staying put in the Father's house? It is, as Jesus puts it in John 15, verse 4, 5, and 7, quote, Remain in me, that is, in Christ, and I will remain in you. I'm the vine, you are the branches. If a man remains in me, I in him, he will bear much fruit. Apart from me, you can do nothing. Remain in me and my words. In 2023, practice remaining in Christ and remaining in His Word. And realize that what the Father offers us in Jesus Christ, His Son, is far better and meaningful than anything this world has to offer. For 1 John 2, 17 says, quote, The world and its desires pass away, but the man who does the will of God lives forever. End of a quote. Have a blessed 2023. Thady and I wish you the very best in 2023 in our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Thank you.